Hi everybody and welcome to this video which covers the advantages and disadvantages of reinforcement and punishment in operant conditioning. This is part of the psychology of learning topic for stage 2 psychology. Let's get started. So let's first cover the advantages of reinforcement. Since reinforcement focuses on increasing a desired behaviour and punishment focuses on reducing an unwanted or undesired behaviour, it does not teach replacement. So it's typically recommended to use positive reinforcement when trying to make a behaviour change. Reinforcement when used well will teach correct behaviour, make a child, animal or adult feel loved or appreciated, helps develop self-esteem and increases motivation to do the correct behaviour again in the future. Disadvantages of punishment include feelings of resentment, frustration, aggression, helplessness, that may arise or develop in a person who is punished frequently. So we can't just punish bad behaviour, we must reinforce good behaviour for long-term behaviour change to occur. The punished behaviour is not forgotten. It may be suppressed and may return when the punishment or threat of punishment is no longer present. Adults who model aggressive punishments can incidentally cause increased aggression, as this teaches the child to show that aggression is a way to cope with problems. Punishment can create fear of people in authority that is then generalised to other situations, such as fear of teachers, fear of police and fear of doctors. Punishment can also have unintended side effects that are reinforcing for the punisher. If the person administering the punishment feels better and uses punishment as an outlet for frustration, this is likely to increase the likelihood of using the punishment again in the future rather than because the person deserved it. So the greatest limitation of punishment is that it does not necessarily guide or teach the desired behaviours. Reinforcement tells you what to do, whereas punishment only tells you what not to do. So punishment is necessary, but if punishment is to be used, it's most effective when it is brief, it is immediate and linked to the undesired behaviour in the mind of the person or animal, and a positive behaviour can be taught to replace the negative behaviour, and this is reinforced. So I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, happy revising.